Immediately after its 2008 launch, NASA's Interstellar Boundary Explorer, or IBEX, spotted a curiosity in a thin slice of space, more particles streamed in through a long, skinny swath in the sky than anywhere else. The origin of the so-called IBEX ribbon was unknown, but its very existence opened doors to observing what lies outside our solar system, the way drops of rain on a window tell you more about the weather outside. Now, a new study uses IBEX data and simulations of the interstellar boundary, which lies at the very edge of the giant magnetic bubble surrounding our solar system called the heliosphere, to better describe space in our galactic neighborhood. The paper, published February 8, 2016, in Astrophysical Journal Letters, precisely determines the strength and direction of the magnetic field outside the heliosphere. Such information gives us a peek into the magnetic forces that dominate the galaxy beyond, teaching us more about our home in space. The new paper is based on one particular theory of the origin of the IBEX ribbon, in which the particles streaming in from the ribbon are actually solar material reflected back at us after a long journey to the edges of the sun's magnetic boundaries. A giant bubble, known as the heliosphere, exists around the sun and is filled with what's called solar wind, the sun's constant outflow of ionized gas, known as plasma. When these particles reach the edges of the heliosphere, their motion becomes more complicated. The theory says that some solar wind protons are sent flying back towards the sun as neutral atoms after a complex series of charge exchanges, creating the IBEX ribbon, said Eric Zernstein, a space scientist at the Southwest Research Institute in San Antonio, Texas, and lead author on the study. Simulations and IBEX observations pinpoint this process, which takes anywhere from three to six years on average, as the most likely origin of the IBEX ribbon. Outside the heliosphere lies the interstellar medium, with plasma that has different speed, density, and temperature than solar wind plasma, as well as neutral gases. These materials interact at the heliosphere's edge to create a region known as the inner heliosheath, bounded on the inside by the termination shock, which is more than twice as far from us as the orbit of Pluto, and on the outside by the heliopause, the boundary between the solar wind and the comparatively dense interstellar medium.